Let us continue the theoretical problems on probability. The problem is, if A and B are two mutually exclusive events, show that P of A given B bar equal to P of A divided by 1 minus P of B. Here we are given A and B are two mutually exclusive events. We know Two events are mutually exclusive if A intersection B equal to null set phi and hence P of AB equal to 0. Okay. Now we want to prove, we want to obtain P of A given B bar. So firstly, we, we consider the events as mutually exclusive since A and B are Mutually exclusive events, mutually exclusive events, we have A intersection B equal to 5, A intersection B equal to 5, 5, okay, the null set and hence which implies P of A B equal to 0. P of A intersection B equal to 0. Now, by the definition of conditional probability, by conditional probability, by conditional probability, simply we apply the conditional probability rule, which is P of A given B bar equal to P of A intersection B bar divided by P of B bar. P of A intersection B bar divided by P of A B, uh, sorry, P of B bar. Now, if the events are mutually exclusive, the diagram becomes A and B are mutually exclusive. Okay. So, what about, this is the set B and hence what about B bar? What about B bar? The outside, the set outside B is B bar and hence A intersection B bar becomes A. Okay. The set outside B is B bar. The set outside B is B bar and hence A intersection B bar equal to, what is it? This is B bar. A intersection B bar is this one. Okay. A intersection B bar. A intersection B bar. So that P of A intersection B bar is P of A. Since A and B are mutually exclusive. Since A and B are mutually exclusive. A intersection B bar. A intersection B bar equal to A. Okay. Which implies therefore P of A given B bar. P of A given B bar equal to P of A divided by P of B bar. And we have P of B bar equal to 1 minus. Let me write one second. P of A by P of B bar. So equal to P of A divided by 1 minus P of B. Which is the required one. Hence the proof. Okay. That is we have obtained P of A given B bar. Equal to P of A divided by 1 minus P of B. Let me consider once again. By conditional probability, this is P of A given B bar equal to P of A intersection B bar divided by P of B bar. And here A and B are mutually exclusive. So the picture is like this. A and B mutually exclusive means A intersection B equal to 5. Therefore, P, uh, therefore, A intersection B bar becomes A itself. Okay. So that P of A given B bar equal to P of A divided by P of B bar equal to P of A divided by 1 minus P of B. The answer is very simple. Okay. Only we want to uh, obtain the logic of the question. Okay. Okay. Now we consider the next one. What is it? Let A and B be two events such that P of A greater than 0 and P of B greater than 0. 
that is given p of a greater than 0 p of b greater than 0 given p of a greater than 0 p of b greater than 0 okay now what is the question prove that if a and b are mutually exclusive then a and b are not independent and if a and b are not independent a and b are independent then a and b are not mutually exclusive that is if a and b are the first part is if a and b are mutually exclusive we are given a and b are mutually exclusive for the part one okay a and b are mutually exclusive implies already we have this result a b in equal to implies a b equal to 5 which implies uh, therefore p of a b equal to 0 therefore p of a b equal to 0 but what happens but p of a into p of b not equal to 0 as p of a and p of b greater than 0 but P of A into P of B not equal to 0. Since P of sense, what is it? Since P of A greater than 0 and P of B greater than 0. So that P of A into P of B not equal to 0. What does this mean? That is P of E B not equal to P of A into P of B. Okay. So that which implies E and B are not independent. A and B are not independent. In order to prove A and B are independent. It is enough to prove P of A B equal to P of A into P of B. Given that A and B are mutually exclusive, which implies A in dissection B equal to 5. Therefore, P of A B equal to 0. But what about P of A into P of B? It is not equal to 0 as we are given P of A greater than 0 and P of B greater than 0. Okay. That is P of A B not equal to Z, not equal to P of A into P of B which implies as A and B are not independent when if A and B are mutually exclusive. If A and B are mutually exclusive. Okay. Okay. Then the next part. What about if A and B are independent. Okay. Then A and B are independent. It is given. Would we have to prove A and B are not mutually exclusive? We know A and B are independent. If A and B are independent events, A and B are independent events, we know P of A B, this implies P of A B equal to P of A into P of B. P of A into P of B. That is P of A B not equal to 0 since P of A greater than 0 and P of B greater than 0. Okay. P of A B not equal to 0 since P of A greater than 0, P of B greater than 0. That is A and B are not mutually exclusive. A and B are not mutually exclusive. Not mutually exclusive when if what about if A and B are, if A and B are independent, A and B are independent. A and B are independent. Let me explain once again. It is given that A and B are independent. Also P of A greater than 0. P of B greater than 0. A and B independent. Plus 
P of A B equal to P of A into P of B. That is P of A B not equal to zero as it is given that P of A greater than zero and P of B greater than zero. And we know P of A B equal to zero is the condition for mutually exclusive events. That is, as P of A B not equal to zero, A and B are not mutually exclusive. If A and B are independent, okay. Then question number two over. Now we consider question number three. Question number three is the question is if A and B are two independent events, show that P of A union B equal to one minus P of A bar into P of B bar. It is given that A and B are two independent events since A and B are since A and B are independent events. What about the condition? We know P of A B equal to P of A into P of B. P of A B equal to P of A into P of B. Okay. It is given that A and B are independent. Hence we have P of A B equal to P of A into P of B. Now what is the requirement? We want to obtain P of A union B. Okay. Now we start with P of A union B. What about this one? P of A union B equal to, we can write it as 1 minus P of A union B whole bar. P of A union B equal to 1 minus P of A union B whole bar. And we can write this as P of A union B whole bar as 1 minus P of A bar intersection B bar by D Morgan's loss. Okay. P A union B whole bar equal to A bar intersection B bar. And we know P of A bar B bar equal to P of A bar into P of B bar. That is equal to 1 minus P of A bar into P of B bar. Since A and B are independent, we know A and B are independent events implies. What about A bar and B bar are also independent which we have proved in the previous class independent. Okay. That is, we get this result. That is, e P of A union B equal to 1 minus P of A bar into P of B bar if A and B are independent. Okay. If A and B are independent. This is very important result. If A and B are independent events, P of A union B equal to 1 minus P of A bar into P of B bar. This is very simple to work out. Okay. And we start with A and B are independent. And hence we have P of A B equal to P of A into P of B. Now we write P of A union B which is which can be written as 1 minus P of A union B whole bar. Okay. That is probability of at least one of the events equal to 4 to events. At least one means the occurrence of one or two, which can be written as one minus probability of uh, A union B whole bar. Okay. So that it becomes one minus P of A bar intersection B bar by De Morgan's loss. And hence one minus P of A bar into P of B bar. Uh, what about this result? We know. Already we have proved A and B are independent events in plus A bar and B are also independent. A and B bar are independent and A bar and B bar are independent. 
Hence, we have 1 minus P of A bar into P of B bar. That is P of A union B equal to 1 minus P of A bar into P of B bar. If A and B are independent. Now, uh, now this result can be extended up to n events for any number of events. This result is true. So, as a remark we write. As a remark, we write if A1, A2, etc., An are independent events, are independent events, then we have P of A1 union, A2 union, etc., union, An can be written as 1 minus. P of E1 bar 1 minus P of E1 bar into P of A2 bar etc. P of E n bar for any number of events. Okay, for any n for uh, a set of n events that are independent, P of A1 union, A2 union, etc. union, A n. That is probability of the occurrence of at least one of the events can be written as 1 minus P of A1 bar into P of A2 bar into etc. P of A n bar only under the condition the events are independent. Okay. Only under the condition the events A1, A2, etc., A1 are independent. Okay. Thank you very much.